Today I'm going to show you how eSignature works in the TaxWise online software and how to assign the role to each of the users in the office. So once you log in and on your dashboard at the top right hand corner, whatever you have it listed as, go ahead and select it. Mine is listed as Jax. I'm going to select my settings. I'm going to select manage users. And then I'm going to select edit on the user that I want to have the capability of being able to do e-signatures. So I'm going to find e-signatures on the left hand side, select it to put it on the right hand side, hit save, and I'm going to do that for each user that I want to have the capability of being able to send out the return for e-signatures. So once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and hit close. I'm going to come over here to the tax return tab so I can show you what it looks like. So I'm going to enter a return. Once the return has been fully filled out, especially the information at the bottom of the main information as far as the uh, company, and then on the 8879 as far as the ERA go, all of it must be filled out. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go over to eSignature, and I'm going to select that I want it to be done remotely going to select submit and it's going to tell me that I have sent. If you have a Topaz signature and you choose to select to do it in the office it's going to have a sign now link that you can click on and it will bring up the window so that way they can sign it on the Topaz signature. So otherwise go ahead and hit OK and it's going to tell me that it's sending and it'll take about a few minutes and it'll get sent to the customer so I'm going to go ahead and save and close the return and this is what the email looks like when the customer gets it from DocuSign. So I'm going to go ahead and select Review Document. This is where they're going to have to verify their identity, especially all the info that you have on their tax return. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. Once they have verified their identity and it brings them to this screen to where they can actually review the documents and sign it, they can review the electronic record and signature disclosure and they can just select the little hyperlink and go over it. They can print it to review it later. Once they've done that, they can go ahead and hit the X button. They'll select I agree to use electronic record and signature. Select continue. This is where they're going to be able to review uh, what you have entered into the tax return. Once they are satisfied, they can go ahead and select Start, select Sign, and this gives them the capability of being able to use their mouse or their fingerprint if they're on their phone to sign it or just use what is already in there as far as select styles like this one has a preview of a signature of my name or I can go over here to draw and I can draw my signature here especially if I'm on a uh, phone or just use my mouse to do it if you are using a signature pad then you select signature pad and they will sign it on the actual signature pad once they have decided which signature to go with they can select adopt and sign then they'll select the little sign button and it automatically puts their signature here so once they have signed everything especially if there is a bank application in here they'll be able to sign that as well they'll select finish and it's going to give them capability to be able to create an account whereas I've already got an account established with DocuSign and I can log in and come back and review the documents if I need to see anything else so I'm gonna hit no thanks and it's gonna say I'm all done and I'm gonna come back over here into the program and as you can tell on the tax return tab under the e-signatures rather than it saying sent it says completed so I'm going to enter the tax return and in the vault system where all your document goes you see the tax return has been signed so if I select it and I scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see the signature on the bottom of the 1040 so now you'll have a digital copy of the signature for the tax return and of course if you need to sign the tax return as well I would suggest that you go ahead and print out the tax return sign it scan it back in put another copy so that way you have the copy of the ERO signature in here as well